Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yee-haw, and it is that time again. A new Pokemon has been released in Pokemon Unite, and it's time to decide whether or not you should buy Dragapult. Dragapult was just released, the newest attacker for Pokemon Unite. It is a ranged attacker. It feels a little bit like Cinderace, a little bit like Greninja with a little flare of Sableye kind of thrown in there because it is invisible. It is gems only for the first week, and then it will be coins. I believe the coin price, and I'm not positive on this, will be 14,000 coins. I am, again, I'm not positive, it could be 12K, but I thought I heard it was 14,000 coins when it is available for coins, 575 gems. Uh, Dragapult kind of falls into the game in an interesting way because I think it jumps into a very crowded category, which are ranged Pokemon that want the jungle. So this Pokemon I feel like is not very good early. It's kind of weak until it gets its level five at least and then it gets its first move. You have a choice between the invisibility and attack speed with Phantom Ambush and then you have the uh, Dragon Dance, which look, I love Dragon Dance. I think it's so incredibly fun. It is not. <laughs> It is not the move. I'm sorry to say it, it's not the move. You're gonna see some cool stuff with this Pokemon and you're gonna see some super fun stuff with that move. Don't get me wrong. But I think far and away, Phantom Ambush is clearly the winner here. It is, uh, it's basically like an X attack and invisibility that you can reset on KO. And you can reset Dragon Dance as well, and again, you can do some cool things with it, but I really don't think it's super close. So I think Phantom Ambush is gonna be the play. You're gonna see this Pokemon in some games do very, very little, and in some games it's going to carry like crazy and output a ton of KOs and a ton of damage. It actually does something really interesting, which its Unite move is just kind of a regular move, and it sends out uh, these two little Dreepy to uh, hit either one enemy or two, depending what is in your range, and it can secure KOs like that like really easy it can grab some KOs from your team but you want it to because once it grabs a KO it resets its moves which will reset its phantom ambush which essentially is giving you a huge attack speed buff it's kind of this cycle where you're gonna see this Pokemon start to KO one Pokemon then another then another then another then another it's pretty sweet it really is I have to say my time with it was interesting. It took me a little while to figure out how I even wanted to play this Pokemon. I was losing a lot of the first games with it. It felt very, very team reliant. I just felt like if I had no front line, I was in so much trouble with this Pokemon because outside of its Dragon Dance, it has very little mobility. And even with Dragon Dance, you can still get stunned out of your dash. So the mobility on this Pokemon is just kind of abysmal. Uh, and I think if you're fighting it, all you need to do is run right at its face. Just run right at its face and, and punch it in the face. It, it doesn't do well if you are next to it. Once you get the hang of it, once you can figure out how to, you know, weave in and out of combat with it a little bit, I started to get the hang of it near the end of my stream. Uh, you could start to really see the potential with this Pokemon. I don't think it's broken. I don't think it's OP or anything like that. I don't, I think it's good. I think it's a good Pokemon. I think a coordinated team might be able to do something cool with it. I think solo, you might find yourself a little frustrated with this Pokemon, but this is also a little bit of, you know, my bias bleeding in here because this isn't really my favorite play style of a Pokemon. Um, again, if you're interested in something kind of close to Cinderace, Decidueye, Greninja, but without sort of the big burstiness of a spirit shackle or the secure of a surf. It's really an A-presser uh, and a, a KO sort of stealer, and then it snowballs. So it has a lot of fun. It's kind of waiting around in the fight, and then once it starts getting some KOs, it feels like it really ramps up and can be very, very mean to the enemy team. Again, I don't think it's particularly broken, but I think you are gonna see some big moments from this Pokemon. The thing that's not broken about it, at least in my opinion, is how easy this Pokemon is going to be to deal with. It's not it's not that difficult once you see it. it can, it'll be invisible for a while, but the second it sort of shows its face, as long as people look in its direction and go over there, I think it's in a lot of trouble. So you might find as a solo queue player that you're not 
falling in love with this Pokemon right away. But then again, you might. If you like those other Pokemon and that's how you like to play solo queue, then you might have a great time with this Pokemon. I think as far as a release goes, um, my level of enjoyment with this Pokemon probably falls in line maybe closer to Azumarill, well, maybe like Azumarill's release or Trevenant's release. I like it, but I'm not crazy in love with it. I don't think it's super underpowered like both of those releases were, but I also don't think it's so powerful that you're gonna see it in every game and you're gonna be stressed out about it. I think they actually did a decent job of releasing this in a relatively powerful state. That's where I'd leave it. It's relatively powerful. Not crazy good, not crazy bad, just relatively pretty dang good. And I think that's a cool place for a Pokemon to release. I don't like it when they release a Pokemon that feels incredibly broken, especially when it's gems only for a week, like Sableye. Sableye just felt incredibly broken. It still feels kind of crazy broken when you're dealing with an enemy Sableye in a match. It's just one of the most frustrating things. And I don't think you're gonna have that experience with Dragapult, which I think is very cool. Something I do wanna mention really quickly, uh, someone in my chat was talking about how Pokemon Unite wasn't going to be doing gem lock releases anymore. I just wanna put my two cents out there. I did this in a previous video but I definitely think they're going to be gem locking releases for the foreseeable future they're just not going to bundle it with hollowware so you don't have to buy hollowware with a Pokemon that it's just it's gem locked but it's not gem locked with hollowware oh let me show you something I thought was interesting too and I would love to hear your take on this in the comments so like many Pokemon it has an orange unite style set and a purple unite style set I did those in the wrong order but orange and purple you know like the two colors in the game and now it has this third one a yellow unite style set we don't have a team yellow in Pokemon unite there's no there's no team yellow. I don't know what this is in reference to. This is just something I thought was interesting when I saw it on stream. Part of me thinks that maybe we're getting a th like a three team mode where each team is going at each other. I could be totally wrong there, but we could be seeing a team yellow enter Pokemon Unite. And just the idea that there's some new team i don't know that's pretty exciting i don't know i have no idea what this is i don't know if they just wanted it. <laughs> they're like hey we want a yellow one it's more expensive than the other two no clue why i do not understand why but there's something going on here team yellow i i don't know what's happening but team yellow exists in this game so get ready for whatever that means so I guess it's my time to give you my recommendation on whether or not I think you should buy Dragapult. As always, make your own decisions with any of this kind of stuff. Don't listen to some streamer or content creator who tells you something is crazy OP right when it releases because everything new, unless it's bad, feels shiny and good, right? I'll say this Pokemon is good, maybe even great at times, but it's not. It doesn't feel incredibly broken. It doesn't feel like you're gonna lose if you don't get it. Me personally, I don't love this play style. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite way to play this game. It feels a little too passive for me at times, just kind of A button pressing. So I actually don't love Dragapult. I think it's all right. I think it's kind of cool. There's re some really cool stuff. Dragon Dance is really cool. But my overall recommendation is, uh, I don't know. I don't really love it. I think it's all right. I don't love Dragapult. So if you like that play style a lot, then I think give it a run in the practice area. See how you feel in general. However, yeah, I guess it's just not my favorite, not my favorite release that they've had. Not bad, but it also fits in this weird spot in the roster. There are so, 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 so many Pokemon that want that central area and it's just so crowded. And I, I, it's tough when they release Pokemon that really want to be in that central area. And I feel like Dragapult really wants to be in that central area because early on, it doesn't feel that great. It doesn't feel great in lane. I feel like its first four levels or, you know, getting to its fifth level are pretty dang rough for this Pokemon. So, uh, oh, something else to mention that I just thought this was interesting and I just found this out. So a build I had talked about with this Pokemon before was running Buddy Barrier and Energy Amp. This Pokemon, and only this Pokemon, has a specific thing set up, apparently, where its internal cooldown for those items are longer than normal. So that means you'll use Buddy Barrier, but you can't use your Unite move again because it's a 
regular essentially move in this game. You can't use your Unite move again within the same time frame that another Pokemon could and get the Buddy Barrier Shield again. So they've increased the internal cooldown times of those items uh, for them to activate when you use your Unite move, specifically because of how this Pokemon's Unite move worked. Because of that, I've been running Scope Lens, Muscle Band, and Rapid Fire Scarf, and I think they've been the call for this Pokemon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did you get Dragapult? Are you excited about it? Uh, if you did get it, how are you feeling about this Pokemon? I'd really love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you very much, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm. The Dragon. <laughs>